Hello, in this video we're going to discuss Dangers of Tearing Holes in the Fabric of Space Part 5 How the Wicked are Using This Technology Now, as mentioned, there are spy agencies that are involved in this, uh, in this technology throughout the world with the exception of the United States and Israel who are in fact working against these people So, with uh, budgets that are quite vast, it's easy for a spy agency to hide this sort of technology being developed as a black project. They don't answer to anybody when it comes to the vast sums of money that they demand from each government. So that's where they get their money from. That's one source. There are other sources as well. Now, with this technology, it involves spacecraft. So effectively what these people do is they have a portal which is a terror hole which is a hole torn in the fabric of space that is fixed and always open. This doorway has a chain as an anchor point to their spaceships that helps them keep up with the Earth as Earth continues on its journey in rotation and tilt and orbit of the Sun. And these tethers have a spaceship at the end of them and they also put people in spacesuits out there. They have an airlock on either side of the portal and the spacecraft is equipped with technology that can tear a hole in the fabric of space. So when they're operating from the other dimension, the safety dimension, they can tear a hole in the fabric of space producing a sinkhole and they can monitor this with a satellite and see where it is and then they know where their spaceship is in relation to this universe and this planet. They can steal stuff if they want to and no one can stop them. So they just maneuver their spaceship to the XYZ coordinates of a location where they want to grab something, tear a hole in the fabric of space. That debris and items wind up where they are and they just simply grab them. They can do this to people as well. So it's a terrible technology in the wrong hands. And it is a danger to everybody how they're using it. I am the Archangel Daniel and I'm from heaven.